Almoria would like me to read chapter 10 from Advanced Studies of the Human Aura. And when I reread it early this morning, I was amazed at what was in here and of how important the information is for those of us who do engage in our morning prayer and devotion services and of what we are actually doing. Advanced Studies of the Numenora, Chapter 10, The Sacred Flow Field, Creating an Aura of Light. Happiness and success depend on the all-important factor of flow. Patricia Spadaro from the book Honor Yourself. Heart friends whose fealty to the Divine One is diamond strong. Your human aura is an electronic garment of light that surrounds your core identity as a soul evolving within time and space. It is reflective of the greater divine aura that surrounds your core identity beyond time and space as a solar being within the perfected realms of pure beingness and God. Within this higher domain, your aura is a sacred flow field of brilliant white light. It may also be so where you abide now by your conscious choice. I aver that the word flow field is a more accurate description of what is observable as the ever-changing oval body of energy that is your aura. For although at a given point of time the aura may be photographed and studied, from a perspective of elapsed time the flowing nature of the aura is seen as you engage in activities and as thoughts, feelings, and memories move through your consciousness. All divine teachers take this dynamic into account when working with their students in order to discern how best to assist them in mastering the art of living and the science of being while perfecting their human aura. When lovingly engaged in the true initiatic arts and sciences which allow the divine light free concourse within and through one's life, the aura is sanctified with holiness and becomes a sacred flow field. During this time, the aura of the spiritual aspirant may be seen as an oval of effulgent light that is gently suffused throughout the greater circumference of one's immediate environment. While engaging in world service through a collective effort with other heart friends, a group flow field is established that is much more powerful in its potential effects for God good for all life. Every time you make a connection with another individual, there is an energetic blending of certain of your auric patterns. In the case of most people who are oblivious to the effects of their thoughts and feelings upon life, there is a dulling of the coloration of their auras when these interactions occur solely from the human level. However, when individuals who are consciously aware of their source commingle and communicate while engaged in sacred work, a distinct and observable increase in the brilliance and expansiveness of each one's aura may be seen. To maintain an effulgent rainbow-colored aura, one must first enter into the space of being where all life is felt and embraced as sacred. Each moment may be experienced as an opportunity for self-discovery and self-fulfillment within the greater glory of God's divine flow field, the natural world. As one's single-eyed vision of the unity of all life is mastered, and as all past karmic encumbrances are transmuted through joyfully employing the seven rays and harmonic living, the flow field of your aura is purified, rarefied, and glorified in God's crystal stream of beingness. By your conscious application of the use of the spiritual technologies replete within the sciences of the spoken word and the giving of mantras, chants, prayers, and decrees, 
and by an increased melodic resonance that may be experienced during the singing of devotional songs. Your aura may become charged and recharged with solar fire and light. Many of you have felt the deeper impact upon your beings that has also manifest as a fine-tuning of your auric field while you've been engaged in these practices. These have also been causative of a gradual increase in your ability to feel, to retain, and to expand the radiance of your sacred flow field that in turn has increased the circumference and volume of your causal body. The sacred flow field of the halos of the saints and sages interpenetrates multiple dimensions of being. All auric emanations directly impact the Akashic field, the subtle world of ether, for they leave their impressions, their recordings, in most accurate detail. Your personal book of life is being written continuously by your soul, as its renderings of consciousness by your free will choice are manifesting moment by moment. By your own thoughts, words, and deeds, you will be self-judged within the framework of the lesson plan laid out by your soul before your incarnation in consultation with the masters of divine jurisprudence who lovingly guide your evolutionary journey. To master the sacred flow field of your aura, begin always by focusing on the light of God within your heart and by breathing in the divine frequencies of your God presence that are ever flowing to you through your crystal cord. Even a few minutes a day of silent meditation, visualization, and communion with your solar source will reap great treasures as the spiritualization of your consciousness and the purifying of your aura. Moving on from this basic practice to the higher intentional yogas, full union with God will manifest your desired result. I am yours for the victory of your soul, recast in a new image of you as holy God. Moria. I tell many people at the expos that this book is my favorite book, and I am very happy that El Moria found me worthy to dictate the 33 chapters of the first half of this book. And it is absolutely sublime to me. So I hope that you received inspiration from it the first time you read it, and I hope that you revisit it periodically to reinvest your energies in understanding the dynamics involved in co-creating a solar aura of victory toward your ascension of the light. <laughs>